Hi guys, I am Gautam and welcome to GKMix. Some days ago, I got selected for an interview in integrated PhD program in Hyzer, Kolkata. I was there and today I want to share my experience in the interview so that you can get an idea about the interview whoever never attend an interview before. This video will also tell you which chapters are important for your interview if you are going for an interview. So let's start. On that day I was there and first they have completed the document verification process and then they sent us to the panelists that is professors for the interview. When I entered the room for interview, there were four professors. They told me to introduce myself and I did so. Then they asked about the IIT jam rank and which IIT I have got after counseling. I told them all. Finally, they asked which part of chemistry I like the most. I said physical chemistry that I like the most. If you love or you can answer well the organic or inorganic part then tell them. I also said that I am interested in quantum chemistry especially. So the first question was which is the condition for spontaneous process they asked me. I answered that delta G will be negative and delta S will be positive. Then they asked are these conditions are sufficient or are there any other conditions? I said I don't remember. Actually really I don't remember. I, it may be that there are much more uh, conditions but I don't remember. I tell them. Then they asked is crystallization a spontaneous process? I tried to solve these questions and I was not sure whether I was correct or wrong but the professors helped me to solve this question. After all, the next professor asked me to write the relation between the activation energy and temperature. I wrote the Arrhenius equation on the blackboard and they just asked to say about the relations between them. I got confused that time and can't answer but now I hope that they asked me to draw the graph. However, the first professor again asked me a question from Gash on Maxwell Boltzmann distribution law. And I don't remember the question, so sorry, the friends. But that question was easy. Next, professor 3 told me okay, if you have you love quantum chemistry, then I will ask you questions from quantum chemistry. I thought he would ask some basic questions but they asked uh, to solve some quantum mechanical mathematical problem. But those was easy. First, they asked, he asked me to write the equation of kinetic energy in quantum mechanical model and I did so and then told me to write the total energy that is the equation of Hamiltonian operator. I was hesitated that time and then asked me to draw the three dimensional graph for hydrogen atom and write the Cartesian model to represent the relation. Then they asked where the nucleus and the electron present in the 3D graph. I showed them clearly the position and finally my interview was over. Overall my interview was not too good. It's my fault because I already got IIT Kharagpur MSc PhD program and I did not touch the books in the last 4 months so all the concepts were confused to me again and I could not answer them well. However, I just went there for the experience of interview so in future I can get, get idea and got qualified in the interview. And I am making this video for you so that you will also get an idea of the interview process and get prepared. 
So, with my experience, I will suggest you some topics on chemistry from which questions are mostly asked. From physical chemistry, chemical kinetics, thermodynamics and thermochemistry, quantum chemistry, gaseous state, chemical equilibrium and ionic equilibrium. These topics are mostly important. From organic chemistry, important name reactions, then carbohydrate and proteins, carbene, benzene, nitrine, sorry, benzene, nitrine, cation, anion, radical, all the reactive intermediates, and acidity and basicity. These are from organic chemistry. From inorganic chemistry, coordination chemistry and CFT, organometallic chemistry, bioinorganic chemistry, acid base and indicators. These are the most important topic from inorganic chemistry. These chapters are mostly important for any kind of interview. So prior to joining in an interview, clear the concepts of your favorite part, organic, inorganic or physical. That's all my friend. Hope it helps you a lot guys and if you have any questions regarding this, comment below. Thanks for watching my video. Good luck.